Hey guys, Dan with Tools in Action. Today we're really, really excited. We're going over the uh, Milwaukee Subscanner, the M12 cordless detection tool, model number 2290-20. This is a uh, cordless scanner. It's part of their ever-expanding M12 lineup. One thing we really have noticed with Milwaukee lately is they're gearing towards professionals. Um, they always have, but really with these uh, high-end tech tools, they're starting to add features that nobody else has. And okay, this unit measures the depth and location of rebar up to six inches through concrete. It can scan through drywall, OSB, ceramic tile, marble, and concrete. Um, it can also detect the location of wood, PVC, PEX, and metal. And it also will display the metal type, steel, copper, or aluminum, which we really like. The kit we have is just a bare tool. It, it's powered by the uh, Milwaukee 12-volt lithium-ion battery. So basically, it just slides right in the back here. The tool itself is really light. Really light. Um, which is a good thing. Another thing we like about it is the wheels that are on there. The wheels come in real handy when you're sliding across the surface. As you can see, uh, it effortlessly moves across the surface. A little overview of the operation of the tool. At the top here, we have the uh, V LED, which lights up when it detects voltage. Um, you turn it on. Basically, it has a user input panel here. You got your power at the top. Got your metal selector on the left. On the right, you have your stud selector. In the middle, you have calibrate. And at the bottom, you have menu. If you hit menu, um, you can go through units, sound. So you can go through units and sound, um, change some user settings on there. Like I said, this thing is really light. Uh, it's really good scanner, and we're going to go ahead and show this to you in action. We're going to see the Milwaukee 2290-20 uh, cordless M12 sub scanner in action. Basically we built a makeshift wall here. We have a metal stud. We have a wood stud. We also have some conduit back there with power going through it so we can show you the voltage. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is calibrate the unit. You put it on the wall. Now it will not calibrate on a stud so if you have problems calibrating it just move it over a little bit and uh, it should calibrate. So we're going to hit the power button right there. Unit's going to power up. And what we're going to do is we're looking for studs, so we're going to hit stud. Um, we're about a half inch deep right now. We can keep it on that setting because that's how deep our drywall is. So we're going to hit calibrate. And the unit's calibrating. And now we're in scanning mode. So what we're going to do is we're slowly going to slide across the wall. And obviously we see an arrow there. So it's telling us that there is a stud in this area. So if we keep going... There's the stud right there. That is the exact center of the stud. If you look up top here, there's this little mark here so we can mark the center of the stud. So obviously, that coordinates right with the metal stud. So, real good job there. So we're going to go back over to the right. We're still scanning. And it found the other stud. So this is a wood stud this time. So we cross over until we got both arrows. Center of the stud. So we'll mark it. And that's the center of the stud. Um, it also will detect metal through concrete. Um, you, you can hit this setting here, choose your depth, and then calibrate. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any concrete with metal in it to go through. But as time goes on, we will be testing that. Um, if you go through the menu, you can change the units. You can also um, turn on the sound. So if the sound's on, sound's on. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, menu again. We're going to calibrate it. This time it will give you an audio signal of when it found a stud. So we're going to cruise over. Real easy to slide. And that's the center of the stud right there. So, And that's right in the general area that it was before. So really precise, really good at finding studs. So we're going to go over to the wood stud. Same thing, center of the stud right there, right in the same general area that we were before. The wheels really make it good to roll across the surface. Uh, they do have rubber grips on it, so it's not going to mar your surface. Um, all in all, we really like this. Uh, next thing we're going to show you is voltage. We're going to power up some voltage behind this wall and show you how it detects voltage. 
Okay, uh, we're going to give you a little overview here. Now we're going to look for, we powered up this wall. So behind this wall, we have a piece of conduit going uh, horizontally here. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan for metal. So we're going to be in standard scan. Um, you can use deep scan for concrete, stuff like that. So we're going to hit calibrate. Okay, now we're in scan mode. You can notice the first thing that comes up is the red V. Uh, that's actually detecting that there's voltage behind this wall. Uh, according to Milwaukee, they say that this tool will not detect voltage in conduit, but in this scenario, it did, which we're really impressed with. So what we're going to do is we're going to slowly go up the wall. And as you can see, it's detecting ferrous metal. And right there is the center. So, we'll take our pencil and we'll mark... Okay, so now if you can out a little bit, you'll see that it's detecting exactly where that uh, conduit is. Um, so we really like this scanner. It's great for a whole bunch of applications. It's probably one of the best scanners we've seen as far as uh, deep scanning, finding different kinds of metals, finding studs. We also love that Milwaukee has included the five-year warranty in this lineup. Another thing we wanted to note is when we're scanning for metal, as you can see, it uh, comes up with inches. The lower it gets, the closer you are to the, uh, to the metal. So we'll go down. So right there, it's telling us that we're right over the top of it, and it's 2.5 inches. Uh, the reason it's 2.5 inches is because behind the wall, it's about 2.5 inches out, the pipe is. So uh, really dead-on, spot accurate. We like that a lot. If you want to see more about the 2290-20 Milwaukee Subscanner, you can go to milwaukeetools.com or go to toolsinaction.com.